This is Jesus Manuel Menegarza for RV and Travel Adventures. I'm uh, in, uh, what's this place called again? Casa Tuna. Casa Tuna. And what's the name of the city? Part of town? Coyoacan. Coyoacan. Distrito Federal, Mexico City, and I'm here with my wife who just gave a lecture at the local university, CENART, C-E-N-A-R-T. We're going to go out. It's Saturday night. I'm going to walk, uh, d d you know, to the street, make a right, and make a right, and make a right, and we're going to go a long ways down that main drag and uh, check out the activity. So let's get started. Let me turn around the camera and we can get uh, this road show on the road, okay? Let's see what happens. Here we go, sweetie. You got the keys? Yes. We are all set. Very nice. You can leave the lights on. Yeah. Okay. Okay, turn that. And they uh, cleaned our room pretty good. Look at that. It looks very nice. And uh, what time is it anyway? 5.49. It's 5.49, so it, but it's pretty dark because it's overcast quite a bit here in uh, Day Efe. She locked the door to make sure nobody uh, steals our crap. Up there is the terrace, but we're gonna, I have another video on that. Hope you enjoyed that. Don't forget to like, subscribe, and share. I would greatly, greatly appreciate it. Thank you very, very much. And of course, leave your kind and friendly comments uh, below. So this is where I've been staying. It's late, it's dark, and uh, very nice. There's my reflection in the mirror. ¿Cómo está, señor? Vamos a ir para tomar fotos. Gracias. So we're going to go that way. That way on the right is a taco joint that we're going to be passing by. So. We'll show that to you eventually. We're gonna go around the block, essentially. So parking is a premium at this, uh, uh, in this neighborhood, Coyoacan, near the Centro. And uh, they got a little bit of a mafia thing going here where people control certain parking spots, even though they're public, uh, you can't access them without giving them some cash. So, there's a rec creo, recreo, which is recreation in Spanish. Uh, during the night until about quite late, we can hear their music. So, people are in their plain pool. Very nice. It says El Recreo, ping pong, arcade, pool, blah, blah, blah. They have the low powered motorcycles, which are very popular here. talk a little bit but not too much to the left you go uh, by a women's uh, bookstore restaurants coffee shops a bunch of other stuff down there and the main drag is over there but well, we're gonna make a right and uh, they have quite a few mansions that are converted into hotels motels etc etc so how do you like it so far sweetie I'm loving it you like it a lot? Yes, very much. It's very walkable if you get a place down here. If you had to find a place, again, like a place to park, it's uh, practically impossible. There's the Armacord and Casa Kumbai, Kumbaka, whatever that is. So it says there uh, Yoga, Cocina which is kitchen. Uh, kitchen, tienda, store, and cafe, so. And the coyotes are howling. 
<laughs> the streets are actually relatively in good shape around this part of town, which is shocking. Mostly in Mexico, sometimes it looks like a war zone, the street. So this is one of the Mexican mafia right there. I call them the street mafia. They say, you can park here if you give us some money. So. Place called. This is Queta Promos, whatever that means. Again, my Spanish is good, but it's not amazing. Totally amazing. So this video, I'm going to try to keep it short. So I'm going to uh, only walk about three, four blocks. I can keep on going forever because this part of town is hopping, hopping. Look at that. That's a steep driveway. Wow. That is steep. Yeah, I gotta pay attention to my wife eventually. People hanging out. Mascarilla. You won't be bored here on a Saturday night. I think we're supposed to go left there. Let's go left there. Let's see what happens. I get a little turned around sometimes. More music that you, uh, with, the, with the bajo sexto and the uh, requinto, vihuela, whatever you call it, you know, different types. Okay, there we are. make them in rings and then they chop them up wow wow look at there he is chopping it up would you like a churro sweetie tomorrow okay where they sell shoes and uh, baseball caps it's a Doc Martin store and we and we live down the street here on the right so just to tell you, tell you we're staying over there and this is that taco shop that I was talking about Casa de Tacos good tacos not great tacos we've had went to a couple other places which had great tacos you want to know about those tacos? Just uh, send me an email or a text. 
or uh, leave a comment below saying, hey, where'd you have those great tacos in Koyo Wakan? So this is an Irish bar. Eighteen karat gold right here. Twenty karat gold here. <laughs> we have a bookstore here called Librerias Gandhi, named after that uh, Indian uh, pacifist. Of course, you can have uh, coffees, whatever you want. Here's a menu. I've had their uh, pasteles and I've had their coffees. Very nice. So there's Prensa de Shuru, Prensa de Royo de Canela, Prensa de Nutella. El Shuru está con el mismo, el mismo, mismo como como en como en Suiza, mismo. People are hanging out, having a... And here's another bookstore. Or books. There's the Combi, small bus, which takes people around. And here's a high-end shoe store. If you need some pointy shoes, you're set. So... I'm going to show you a little bit over here and then we're going to cross over here and look at the upscale restaurants just for real quick and we'll end this video. This is just a taste. Again, this is the plaza. Get some little suckers and cubitos and pop rocks and uh, get some odds and ends, etc., etc. There's a child just relaxing, take it easy. I guess Pop Rocks are super. And there she is working hard on her phone. Again, this is one side of the plaza. Over there is Los Lanzantes, rated probably the best restaurant here in this area. And there's a couple nice restaurants right next to it over there. So, and of course you can just go down the street for another half mile over here for another half mile and there's the church oops let me go over here very nice aquí está la iglesia it's gigantic it takes up a whole three four blocks very very nice i can go inside the church but i will i'll let the folks uh Worship in peace. So again, as you can tell, super, super. ¿Cómo está el taco? ¿Está bien el taco? So we'll just go down here, just the corner, then we'll cross the street, and then we'll come back over here. Maybe we'll just cross right here. Let me see if I can cross right here. Right here, we're crossing. Beadwork, huh? Very nice. So I spent my esposa para cruzar el calle. Annie, I'm over here. <laughs> Let's go this way, and then we'll just end the video after I cross over here. <laughs> this is the band with the fajas. Gracias. So here's one of the nice Mexican restaurants called Fiesta Mexicana. We had mariachis here last time. Very nice. Very, very nice. I like this restaurant. Let me show you a quick shot inside. ¿Cómo están? Más quiero enseñar mis. 
persons here, but I mean, I guess most el resto de gracias. So this is Fiesta Mexicana. Here's a shot of the menu. In case you want to order, uh, come down here. It's rather reasonable. So uh, 385 pesos. That's about almost $20. So you can get uh, something very nice for 20 bucks or under. Easily. Can't do that in the Estados Unidos. Folks selling stuff. Then we got the Cabo Coyote. A vendor. Folks hanging out. But here's the restaurant everybody, everybody recommends if you want to spend some serious cash. Let me turn around the camera. It's called Los Danzantes. Again, a plate will cost you 20, 30 bucks easily. So, beautiful. Has cactus on the top, a, a cross, Los Danzantes, tables outside, inside, upstairs, again. Very nice, very nice. I'll show you quickly the menu just to have shot to you. So let's look at some typical stuff. Tacos, chamorro, basically 20 bucks. Guajolote and mole negro, that's turkey and, and dark mole sauce, which is traditional for like Puebla. That goes for a little over 20 bucks okay so very affordable inexpensive doesn't cost much this is another nice spot I like it Yeah, pizza, salads, wine, chunks of meat, beer. Very nice. ¿Qué es el nombre de este lugar? ¿Qué es el nombre de este lugar? Entrevero. ¿Entre qué? Entrevero. ¿Qué es vero? Entrevero. Es la palabra completa. Oh, entrevero. Ok. Gracias. Una plaza en Montevideo, Uruguay. Right. Hola. So it's named after a plaza in Montevideo, Uruguay, famous for beef. They love their beef in Uruguay. So that's the pretense of that restaurant. So that's that joint. Another joint here. Uh, Los Danzantes, that other place over there which has mariachis. And of course, we're at the plaza. Let's go inside the plaza and I can end this video sitting down, okay? Sounds exciting. So here's the end of the video. Hope you enjoyed it. This has been Asus Manuel Menegarza with the folks over here in uh, Coyoacan, Distrito Federal, Mexico City. Very nice. Beautiful part of town. Good luck find, p finding parking if, unless you got a place to stay. It's, uh, it's going to be rough, okay? Gracias. Adios. Bye-bye. Don't forget to ring uh, the bell for future notifications. I'd appreciate it.